Here we would like to answer some of the typical questions about this one in two out outdoor PoE standard. The first question is which kind of cable you should use, Cat 5 or Cat 6? Actually, it doesn't matter. What matter is make, what make of your cable. You should pick the cable which is made of 100% copper. It's the pure copper. The reason is because when the power travels through this cable, there are always power loss. And the cobalt cable can reduce the power loss. If you just pick the cable like the CCA, which is the low cost one, it may generate serious power loss. Eventually, you don't have enough power at the end of the cable. Another thing, another thing about cable is the terminal. And this PoE standard cannot take in this pre-made terminal because it's too long. It, can, it just cannot close the grant properly if you use this pre-made cable. You should use this manual grant. It's shorter, you can see. The RJ45, the connector is totally shorter. That's the one thing you need to pay attention. The next question is about waterproof. We plan to use this PoE standard outdoor, right? And the one thing important is use this wrench to fasten the ground before you play this PoE standard under the ground. Just remember the human source is not strong enough to cr cross this wrench and it will not crash the cable even you fasten. It will never cross through your cable. It's the copper cable, it's not the fiber optic cable. One customer said the PoE standard just defected one month later after the strong rain. The reason is because he didn't use this wrench to fasten the ground each of the, this grant. The next question is about search protection. Why we need to care about search? You see, when we use this PoE standard, we're supposed to just repeat the PoE network after 300 feet, even longer. So the longer the cable running, it's more high possibility. It, it may pick up the search in the environment and the search will travel through the cable and go to the both end. If you didn't take care of the search, it may eventually damage this PoE standard or your device. You can see there's such grounding spot. It's very Im quite important to ground in this spot. If there's search going through this PoE standard, it may just release the search through this grounding spot. So can this PoE standard work with passive PoE like the DC 24 voltage passive PoE negative? It will never work. You see the passive PoE use the DC 24 voltage, but the standard PoE system it requires DC 48 even higher voltage up to DC 55. When the voltage coming in just using the DC 24, if you think the voltage is too low, the whole system will not initial, not start up. So how can we repeat the do you, is there any solution to repeat the passive PoE? I don't think there there any direct solution, but we can convert the passive PoE to the standard PoE. Then you may need one of the devices like the PoE speeder. Okay, there one. The last but not least, what's the difference between these two, right? You can see this one comes with the metal grant, so it's more robust than this one. Moreover, one of this port can output 60 watt, but for this one, it only can have 230 watt output. All right. That's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.